So you've probably seen the theme here. <clears throat> Whenever I'm working on a particular aspect of the mix, like this is the background vocals, which are happening in the chorus, there's always something around it that I'm gonna circle back to. So now I'm still feeling like the lead vocal's a little loud in these choruses so far. So I'm gonna work on those a little bit and that'll help with the background vocals, obviously. So let's dig in that chorus one more time. Okay, good. Now we have another set of background vocals and they're in the bridge and then we're good with the vocals. Let's check those out. Time cannot erase all of these moments, not even one. I just turned away and you were gone. In time. Cannot erase all of these moments, not even one. I just turned away and you were gone. And game cannot erase. All of these moments, not even one. I just turned away, and you were gone. And game cannot erase all of these moments. moments not even one I just turned away and you were gone and game cannot erase all of these moments not even one moments not even one I just turned away and you were gone and game cannot erase all of these moments not even one
happiest moments Not even one I just turned away And you were gone And game cannot erase All of these moments moments not even one I just turned away and you were moments not even one I just turned away and you were gone and game cannot erase all of these moments All right, so what happened there? So we did rides with the volume automation. So each group of phrases was automated. And then I went in and dug in a little more in the inner parts of each phrase. Then I did the macro volume trim. And then I had to go back and do a little more internal riding. Then I added some ambience and then I added some compression that was already in the template. I changed it a little bit, and then that affected the volume a little more, and then we kind of corrected around that. So let's go to the chorus before it, and then go to the bridge, and then let's see what's happening. With your moments not even one I just turned away and you were gone so I'm going to work on the bridge for a second because I didn't really get into the lead vocals there and I was hearing a couple of things as we went along. Time cannot erase all of these moments, not even one. I just turned away and you were gone.
those moments moments So a lot was going on there in the bridge. There was a lot of back and forth with the background vocal volume. What I did was to the background vocals, I did an additional thing. The not even one line, I wanted to be a big moment. So you can see in here, I automated a bunch of things. I added this roll in dimension D and I automated that on for that during the course of those numerous listenings, I added an eighth note delay, the vocal delay, and I also added a quarter note delay that ramps up on the not even one. So if we soloed the backgrounds here, we could hear what's going. So it sort of brought them into different movements in and out, front to back. So then I went in and I started playing with the drums a little. I felt like this is the biggest part of the song, so we have to make it that. So I raised up the all the sidechain compression to give a real attack to the drums. Then I felt like the snare kind of jumped out too much, so I pulled that back a little bit. And then I did raise up the overheads here because some of that cymbal splash kind of is necessary now. So I also took care of the overheads. They needed a little more oomph now. I know I backed them down before, but now with all the vocals in, it kind of needs to lift them. 
So the only issue is at the beginning of the bridge. I had that nice telephone echo on the word time. And the first background vocal phrase sort of eats it up. So let's see if, if we're going to use it. So the first time, time, song gets a little too loud, and the second one gets lost in the background, so let's mess with that. Time cannot erase. So in some of the previous videos I mentioned, that's good enough for now, let's move on, and I kept moving ahead. I don't want to go too, too deep into the details. I want to have the idea there. I want to have it sound pleasant. I want it to be close. But I want to do it in a way that allows me a little bit of time later to do what I just did now. Let's say, for instance, like if I, if I went crazy and spent like an hour on telephone echoes, and then later there's other parts that come in that sit on top of them or they don't work together, it would have been kind of a waste of time. We've done all that, so now I'm going to start fine-tuning even a little deeper. Mm -hmm. 